Hello, a few days ago I posted this picture on YouTube and asked people to comment telling me where they thought I was when I took the picture. And the main reason for taking the picture was to introduce this island uh, to my subscribers and anybody watching the video. So I got lots of lovely comments and I'll quickly go through that and explain to you where I was and then I will go on to explain why this picture of the same island is impossible to take on a flat earth. Hello and a very warm welcome to you. Um, well, here's the post that I put on YouTube. Um, when I took this picture, I, I was struck by how uh, Mediterranean uh, the whole scene appeared to be. Uh, of course, uh, it's not Mediterranean at all. I was actually in Kinghorn in Fife. So just to prove that I really was in Kinghorn, if we zoom in, go to Street View, and just move around, you'll see the, the house and the island. And I was standing somewhere here, just about where the, the Google Earth uh, lettering is. So there you are, this uh, almost Mediterranean looking uh, scene was uh, taken from Kinghorn in Fife, looking towards Inchkeith Island in the Firth of Forth. On the 31st of December, I think it was in 2019, uh, lovely sunny day and a very pleasant day we spent there. And as far as the guesses are concerned, somebody uh, took it quite seriously and tried to analyse the picture quite carefully. Um, People suggested the southern English coast, Tux, Tuscany, uh, somewhere in the Iberian Peninsula, um, a little tongue-in-cheek Shetland Islands, um, Canary Islands. Uh, the first uh, person to get it right and say that was Inchkeith Island uh, came in uh, three days ago, and uh, lots of uh, lots of suggestions. Most of them in uh, the sort of tropical to Mediterranean kind of area, Fuenteventura, uh, Greece. Somebody thought it was Wolfie's house in Australia, presumably. Um, and uh, some, some amusing comments and some uh, just straightforward uh, guesses. Um, Phuket came up, uh, Palmer, Tenerife, and so on. So that was that was a bit of fun, but as I said, the main in, main reason for posting the, uh, the photograph in the first place was to introduce Inchkeith Island, uh, because I have another picture taken from a little bit further uh, around um, the, the harbour beach there um, of Inchkeith Island, which is impossible to take on a flat Earth. So this photograph is impossible to take if the Earth is flat. Before we go into why that is true, let's look at where I was when I took the photograph and what we can see in the photograph itself. So here on Google Earth, just to quickly show you the location for anybody who's new to the area, uh, we're close to Edinburgh here, uh, across the opposite side of the Firth of Forth, uh, in a little village called Kinghorn on the coast. Uh, down here, just south of Kirkcaldy. So I just quickly zoom in to Kinghorn. I can show you the precise location that photograph was taken from. 
So there's a little car park uh, just here, and then there are footpaths along the top of uh, the cliffs and extending down the cliffs. You can see the little zigzag there. These are more gentle sloping paths down to uh, the lifeboat uh, station and the beach down there. And when the tide's out, there's a lot of sand along this area of beach as well. Anyway, I was parked uh, in the corner of the car park here and set my tripod up next to the car. And a 25 metre contour line runs uh, on an ordinary survey map runs through the car park here. So with the camera on my tripod, I'm at about uh, 25 or 26 metres uh, above sea level. So this is the uh, line of sight uh, of the photograph. So from the car park uh, at uh, Kinghorn, looking over or past the lighthouse at uh, Inch Keith, uh, we pass the coast at Musselburgh here, and the line of sight continues on past this uh, agricultural land in East Lothian to uh, the hills in the distance here, with a wind farm that's located and a, a, a conifer forest plantation uh, here at the, the top of a, the hill and the wind farm here. If you can see Google Earth registers as 410 metres, uh, as we shall see, um, Ordnance Survey Map uh, registers that at, I think it's 413 uh, metres at the high point. And so for the, uh, the distance is concerned, we have a distance to the wind farm in the distance of 35.9 uh, kilometres. A distance from the Kinghorn car park to uh, the lighthouse at Inchkeith is 4.45 kilometres. And just to confirm the um, elevation at the wind farm, I've overlaid uh, an ordnance survey map with uh, contour lines, but it conveniently has a, a spot height here, high point of 413. Uh, meters uh, for this uh, this hill here and the wind farm uh, and as you can see the 400 meter contour line kind of follows around here so all of the wind turbines are at or above uh, 400 meters uh, at their base as we'll see shortly the wind turbines are themselves have a, a hub height of 40 meters giving a total height to the um, hub of the turbines of at least uh, 440 metres and um, will be higher in, uh, in certain cases than 440 metres. So let's add the heights and distances uh, into the picture and then we can talk about why this picture is impossible on a flat earth. So we have a camera height of 25 meters, focal height of the lighthouse is 67 meters and the height of the wind turbine hubs on top of the hill is at 440 to 450 meters. So just in case you're having a little trouble making out the wind turbines in the original picture, here is one where I've enhanced the levels very slightly in GIMP2 just to bring out the wind turbines more clearly. And here is uh, another photograph taken from the same location but uh, using a greater amount of zoom just to show the wind turbines and the lamp of the lighthouse. And the same zoomed in photograph with the levels adjusted in GIMP uh, to bring out the wind turbines even more clearly. So why is this photograph a 
impossible to take on a flat Earth. Well, we can see here that the focal point of the lighthouse, the focal height of the lighthouse, is well above the top of the hill. Remember, there are trees here growing on the top of the hill, and the, the hilltop itself is around uh, 400 meters uh, above sea level. The wind turbine towers are at least 40 meters high and possibly as high as 75 meters. I'll use 40 meters, the lowest uh, possible height uh, for the rest of this video. I won't go into detail, it took me a long time to research exactly which wind turbines we were looking at here. And it's not 100% clear whether these are 75 meter turbines or 40 meter turbines, so I'll stick with 40 meters. Now if we draw a line across the screen, you can see that the focal height of the lighthouse coincides pretty well with the uh, hubs of the wind turbines. Obviously the wind turbine uh, hub heights varies somewhat depending on exactly uh, the elevation that the base of the turbine is at or on the hillside or the hilltop. If we look at uh, the zoomed in picture and do much the same thing, you can see that the uh, turbine hubs are either just above or just below the uh, focal point of the lighthouse. And as we saw earlier, the base of these turbines is all um, around uh, 400 meters and possibly uh, and several of them a little bit more than 400 meters uh, above sea level. So we know that this line here is around 440 meters above sea level. I give or take a, a meter or two as a minimum possible height. It could be as high as 475 meters above sea level. So why is this a problem for flat Earth? Well, let's look at a little scale diagram. So we'll make our scale diagram using different vertical and horizontal scales. So the vertical scale is one centimeter equals 100 meters, and the horizontal scale is one centimeter equals two kilometers, simply to get the whole thing onto uh, one slide and PowerPoint. We'll put uh, this blue block in as our flat Earth representation. And our first little triangle is for the camera height, which I've placed at 25 meters. This is the best possible case for a flat Earth. It could be as high as 26 or meters or, or even a little bit more, uh, but we'll put it at 25. Next, the appropriate distance away, we have Inchkeith uh, Island and the lighthouse with a focal height of 67 meters. So I've drawn the triangle to the height of the focal point of the lighthouse, not the island height, not to the top of the lighthouse tower. Next we'll put in the hills in the distance and I've given these uh, an elevation of 400 meters as we saw. Uh, the hill elevation is actually uh, taller than that, uh, 413 meters at the highest point, and there are trees which are, um, extend that height up a little bit as well. But let's stick to the best possible case for flat earth and give it 400 meters. And then the wind turbines on top at 440 meters. Now, if the Earth was flat, our line of sight through the focal point of the lighthouse um, should go to below the 400 meter point on the hill. That's to somewhere below the base of the trees that we can see. And clearly, and that's not what we actually see in the photograph. Have a look at what Walter Bislin's calculator predicts for flat Earth and for globe Earth. So this is the Walter Bislin curvature calculator prediction for the uh, observation made in the photograph. So on the left hand side here we have the flat Earth prediction and on the right hand side the 
low birth prediction. Here we see that the flat earth prediction matches what I showed in my scale diagram. With the focal height of the lighthouse should be below uh, the top of the hill. Uh, below, and the, the top of the hill here is, is actually the height of the minimum height that the wind turbine hubs could be at. Uh, clearly below that height. Whereas on a spherical Earth, we predict that the uh, focal height should coincide with the wind turbine hub heights. And that's exactly what we observe in reality. Uh, if we put in the hill height uh, rather than the turbine height, so changing 440 meters uh, to 400 meters, uh, then the flat earth prediction is still that the top of the, uh, the lighthouse, the focal point of the lighthouse, uh, focal height of the lighthouse should coincide with uh, a, a position somewhat down the uh, hill below the peak of the hills in the distance. And on a, a globe earth, we predict that the um, focal height of the lighthouse should appear above the hill in the distance. And this is exactly what we observe in reality. So now putting the predictions from the calculator uh, next to the actual photograph itself, uh, here we have uh, the predictions uh, using the uh, height of the hill and not the height of the uh, wind turbine hubs. And so the flat earth prediction is that the focal height of the lighthouse should be, be below the level of the hill. The lighthouse focal height here should be below the top of the hill. That is down here somewhere. The prediction for the globe earth is that the focal height of the lighthouse should be above the height of the top of the hill. Focal height of the lighthouse clearly above the height of the top of the hill, even above the height of the top of the trees. So clearly the globe earth prediction matches what we observe in reality. Here we have the prediction from Walther's calculator, this time using the uh, average height for the hub of uh, the turbine hubs of 440 meters. The flat earth prediction is that the focal height of the lighthouse should be, be considerably below this line. We saw before it should be down here somewhere uh, on the hillside and not up here. The globe earth prediction is that the top of the lighthouse should line up with the average height of the turbine hubs and this is indeed exactly what we observe in reality. Thanks for watching and as always please like, subscribe and share the video if you enjoyed it and if you really enjoyed it consider becoming a patron at patreon.com.